Hey there, I'm Rebecca Shinsky, the director of content from Book Riot. I've been on the road and so I have a lot of book mail to sort through. <laughs> it's everywhere now. Uh, such is the life of a book reviewer and editor and it's pretty great, but I'm a little bit overwhelmed. So instead of doing the usual new book preview with five titles, I thought we would open some of these live. Let's just see how many we can get through. Okay, so first is you Blew It by Josh Gondelman and Joe Berkowitz. This is coming out from Plume, which is Penguin Random House, um, on October 6th, and it's an awkward look at the many ways in which you've already ruined your life. Uh, I follow Josh Gondelman on Twitter. He's also one of the writers for Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. He's really funny, and I'm looking forward to that. That looks like fun. Paper, paper everywhere. Ooh, this one's, oh, this is big book. So... Brief Candle in the Dark, My Life in Science by Richard Dawkins. This is from Echo, which is a HarperCollins imprint, and it comes out on September 29th. So this is uh, Richard Dawkins. You probably recognize his name. He wrote The Selfish Gene and The God Delusion. He's a bit of a controversial character, and this is his memoir. Big envelope. Let's see. Eating Words, a Norton Anthology of Food Writing. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. I love food writing. Let's see, Eating Words comes out. It's a mystery from this press release. It comes out October 26th. This is big. It's, you know, like four or 500 pages of all kinds of food writing, um, including like, it starts with the Old Testament. There are stuff from Leviticus in here. Uh, Jonathan Swift's modest proposal essay where uh, he proposes satirically, satirically, eating babies to get the Irish through the potato famine. All kinds of good stuff. So the Norton does great work and they do interesting things with history and anthologies. And this looks like their classic take on food writing throughout history. It looks really cool. Ooh, if you read, like I did, The Deep End of the Ocean because it was an Oprah pick, this is Jacqueline Michard's new book, To If By Sea. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh. It's been almost 20 years since The Deep End of the Ocean came out. That makes me feel so old. Uh, this doesn't come out until March 2016, an epic story of courage and devotion that spans three continents and the entire map of the human heart. Okay. And now, let's see. This is an Algonquin Books envelope, and all of us in publishing know Algonquin Book envelopes because there's no easy way to open them and you just have to hulk. You gotta hulk it out sometimes. I pre-tore this one so that I wouldn't embarrass myself. Uh, this is If You're Lucky by Yvonne Prinz. Looks like it's young adult. Yeah, it's young adult, and Algonquin has been doing really interesting things with young adult books recently. This comes out October 20th, and let's see. It's a YA thriller that features an untimely death, a handsome stranger, an unpredictable girl, and the truth waiting to be found. Hey, we're making pretty good progress. Whoop, there's another book down there. Okay, let's just see. Ooh, this looks pretty. Goddess by Kelly Gardner. Okay, this is from Harper 36, which is a HarperCollins imprint. You are probably not surprised to learn about that. It comes out October 6th. It's a novel based on the life of the remarkable Julie Dabini, who was known as Le Maupin, the beautiful, tempestuous 17th century swordswoman, opera singer, occasional nun, and 17th century superstar. And wait for this. This line says, think Kate Middleton meets Lady Gaga. Okay, you got me. Probably time for a couple more. I think we can do it. Ooh, small press. We got Grey Wolf Press. I love them so much, and they're just having such a killer year. This is Cities I've Never Lived In. It's by Sarah Maka or Malika. I'm not exactly sure how to say that. I'm sorry, Sarah. Um, it comes out February 16th, 2016. So this one is A Ways Away. It's a debut collection of psychological portraits of characters trying to rebuild shattered lives. That's like everything that I like in short stories all in one place. Okay, how about one more? Ooh, ooh, 
this is a good one to end on. This is Last Night's Reading, Illustrated Encounters with Extraordinary Authors by Kate Gavino. If you follow her online, you know she attends readings, literary readings, in New York, and then she draws these awesome sketches of the authors and pairs them with a quote. This whole book is a collection of these. I'm pretty sure that this was born on Tumblr, that Kate Gavino just started going to literary readings when she moved to New York and started doing these sketches and putting them online. And then she made a book of them and it's coming out from Penguin. Oh, I guess I should have noted when. October 27th. Okay, so that has been the book mail binge, I suppose. Uh, there's still a lot to go. I'm gonna be traveling again next week, so I'm probably gonna have another pile, but one could do a whole lot worse than piles of book mail as problems go. Let me know how you liked this video, if you'd like more like this, if you wanna go back to just seeing five spotlighted books, uh, if you like both, whatever feedback is useful, and I'll see you next time.